Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a day in the life of Frankie, our Aussie Doodle. I recently did the video on just about her breed and kind of about having a puppy, but um, a lot of you wanted to see more of her, so I thought it'd be fun. Mom. Okay, what? Um, and Frankie is cute and curly on her head, <laughs> and she got a haircut. She just got her first haircut. They did a really good job. We didn't want to go too short, but she was really shaggy, so she's still really soft and poofy. Um, so if you have any questions on grooming, um, put it in the description. Maybe we'll do a video on that too. Um, but basically, we're just going to take you around her day um, and just show you what she does all day. We're going to show you like how much she eats, what she eats, um, how Ooh, she... Squirrel mommy plays and naps and that's basically it because that's all she does yeah squirrel um so if you want to see what frankie does all day then just keep watching okay so we go downstairs and get her out of her crate um it's usually chris but this morning i'm doing it so emery's gonna help me we just let her out and one of the best things about having a dog is how excited they are to see you um, when you've been gone for a period of time. It's like the best puppy snuggles are so sweet. Um, so then after we let her out, we quickly go outside um, because she has been really good in her crate. She doesn't have accidents usually. Um, and so she just goes potty right away as soon as we let her out. And then we are on to breakfast. So we go upstairs and she likes to go greet whoever else is upstairs. And then we are on to food. Frankie's breakfast together. She gets three quarters of a cup of food. And I'll show you her food in just a second. She also gets these grass green chews. These are um, so that her pee doesn't kill the grass. Um, and so I just put that in there. And then she also gets her probiotic which helps with her gut health. <laughs> She's up <there. laughs> Can you smell it? And then I just put her probiotic. And then the last thing is her CBD. She has two different ones. One is for um, like nighttime and then one is just like a more of a traditional formula. This is the active formula and these are both by Austin and Kate. I'm ready for breakfast. So I just put a couple of drops of this over her food too. Um, and then for the calming one, I put that onto her food at night. And then I go feed her. Get ready for breakfast. Come on. Good girl. Um, I just recently got this elevated dog feeding um, tray. We really like it. It took her a while to get used to it being elevated but it's good for bigger dogs I think it's better for their necks so we're really happy with it home goods and TJ Maxx has tons of good dog home things like that okay I also got this food container at home goods so I just put the food um and it's almost empty and then I have a new bag so I'm going to show you what food we've been giving her we had kind of a rough start um so this is what we ended up sticking with this is the blue buffalo um, just regular puppy food. They do have grain free. Our vet said not to get grain free, so this is the one we're using. And after breakfast, we usually play either outside um, or inside. It just depends on the weather and what we feel like doing, but we just do some sort of activity. Um, all of her toys that have been like her favorite toys. <laughs> Um, are from her bark box and this is usually when she has an accident and um, she gets like too excited playing and just goes um, we have had kind of a rough go with potty training but it is getting better now um, and definitely recommend having one of those cleaners um, and then this is funny she loves laying on the tile any tile that we have in our um, house because it's so cool um, during the summer months she loves getting her little sissy up from naps or for the day. Um, her and Zara, our youngest, have such a sweet bond. They are so cute together. And it didn't take long for Frankie to just get the hang of like not nipping and just like how to act and how to play. And it's the cutest thing ever. We're going to go have lunch. She usually eats lunch 
around 11. She still does three meals a day. That might change coming up soon, but for now, that's just what she does. Um, and she gets another three quarters cup of food and devours it. And after her lunch, I am going to let her outside. I think that is key with potty training is just staying on top of it and knowing when to take her out and knowing her signals. Her signals are not very strong. Um, she can just do like, she'll look at you. <laughs> she won't bark sometimes. So you have to really be on top of just what she's doing at all times. Um, so it's been a bit of a challenge, but like I said, she is getting better. Um, and then we do some outside playtime and nap number, I don't know, two or three. <laughs> she takes a lot of naps and she really just lays wherever. She gets really comfy just wherever um, and you can just tell she's comfortable and happy, but it's just so sweet. Emery, our other daughter, is also really good with her. Um, and then this was after she had been outside for a while. She likes to dig. Um, usually once a day she'll get into some digging and it's when we just let her out for a period of time and just aren't with her 100% of the time and she likes to dig little trenches around our house. So that's one of the cons but this is something you can just work with um, her and fix. It really isn't a huge deal for us. I usually just rinse her off um, and she likes these little bones. I think the brand is called Smart Bones. We usually give her about once a day just to have like a 10 minute break. Um, and then walks. Walks are super important. And I mentioned this in my video about Aussie Doodles and about getting a puppy. But Australian Shepherds need to be moving and they need to be like mentally stimulated. So we go on a lot of walks and we are very active. We have a walking path that we go on and it's almost a mile and we try to do that at least once a day um, on top of like playing and all of the other activity type things that we do. She is very active and especially because she's a puppy but also because of the Australian Shepherd part of her um, but she loves walks and she's doing really well now with it. So another thing about having a puppy, and I think Australian Shepherds um, especially, is they love to be around you. There's rarely a time where she's not right next to us or where we don't know where she is. She is always right nearby. And honestly, I love that part about having Frankie. So we mentioned earlier that she just recently got a haircut and while we were there, um, we picked out a little t-shirt for her and it is so cute. Definitely recommend buying clothes for your puppy. It is so cute and it's way different than like having a cat. She'll actually wear the shirt. So really cute. Um, here I'm just kind of showing a couple of the things that we've been training with her. She knows sit, high five, um, lay down. She knows stay a little bit um, and we're still working on rollover. That one has been tricky for us both, but we have been doing, I try to do about 10 minutes of training with her each day. Um, I did more when she was a little bit younger but still try to do at least something. Um, so this is her collar. I did want to show you guys. I had a few questions on it in my last video. Um, it's Premier Pet, I think is the brand. It's the cheapest one I have found. And that was the collar. And then this is the little p part that's in our basement. And it just basically creates a circle border around our home. And you can adjust it, the, the size of the border, um, and it took a while to set up, but now that it's set, it's good. Okay, it's Frankie's dinner time, so she gets another three-quarter cup of food. Um, I think I forgot to mention earlier, she eats in the morning at 7, lunch at 11, and dinner at 4. Um, and that's just her routine right now. That might change when she gets older. And then also this is her um, CBD that I sprinkle on a couple drops at night. And I don't do this every single night. Um, I just do it especially if we're going to be doing something or if we're going to be leaving her in a crate for a couple of hours um, or something like that. But just for um, this video to show you guys, I'll do a couple of drops today. And we actually are going somewhere tonight. So we'll put a couple of drops on her food like that. Okay, Frank, come on. Come on. She has her cute little t-shirt on still. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Okay. It's good.
big girl. So another thing I was gonna show you is um, this doorbell that we got, I think from Etsy. Um, but this is here and so she's supposed to just ring it when she wants to go out and she does half the time, but the other half of the time she likes to play with it. So I think once she gets a little bit older um, she'll stop being so crazy with it and trying to play, but it does help um, if you guys are looking for something like that. Okay, so Frankie loves car rides. She's done well in the car, like, since we've gotten her. Um, and it really is convenient because we take her, we try to take her, like, everywhere that we can. And she does really well. She is anchored to the floor. Like, we've taken the seat out in our van. And so she has her own space right there. Um, and she is kind of locked down, so she can't get up to like where we're driving um, and I don't know the exact rules and laws and regulations on driving with your dog but this is just what we do and she does really well and then towards the end of the night after the girls go to bed we like to play outside with Frankie um, a little bit more so that she gets worn out for bedtime and usually it's just a game of fetch or running around or sometimes going for another short walk but she does really like playing outside at night she gets like a burst of energy right before she calms down for the night thanks for watching this video if you have any questions on our routine or anything that we do with Frankie let me know I think I covered most of it um, but I hope you liked seeing her more and <laughs> We love her so much and I hope you saw just like how she just is a perfect fit for our family, like a family with kids and how just good and smart and perfect Aussie doodles are, well ours anyway. Um, also this is just, this was just like a basic like what we do at home kind of thing. If you want to see like a day in the life going to the dog park or things that we do like that, let me know and we can film that kind of video too. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.